A friend was asking if the 7B shaper has enough step over to cut vice jaws. Well, I don't know, but let's try it. <laughs> so I've got the, uh, the feed cam extended as far as it'll go. In fact, even a little farther than I think you're supposed to. And I ground up a, uh, a nice sharp pointy tool bit. Hopefully it, uh, it doesn't snap off. And I've got a 15,000 down feed. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I think it's only about a 30,000 step over. Whether that's enough for vice jaw serrations, no way to know. But let's try it. I got the clapper box set pretty much straight on since this is a more or less a plunge cut. 15,000 steps of cut, roughly 30,000 step over. Well, that's an interesting pattern. It's a little close together for uh, vice jaws, but uh, interesting nevertheless. Okay, so this is probably the right way to do it if you're making vice jaws. Um, so I'm gonna use manual step over. So right now I've got the auto feed turned off. And what I'm going to do is use the uh, down feed. We'll just we'll just stay on this location until we get about a forty thousandths uh, depth of cut. Then we'll stop the machine and manually advance over uh, another one hundred thousandths and repeat the process. So let's get started. Now I've slowed the stroke time down just to make it easier to do the down feed. Okay, you're touching off. Okay, that's 40. Let's just let it spring out. All right, now we're going to stop. back out on our down feed. Okay, stepping over. Hundred thousandths.
Okay, off camera, I went back and I recut these a little deeper, so we're going 50 thousandths depth of cut. And just to make sure that we're doing it right, Ethan, the shop supervisor, is back on the job. Okay, I'm going to try to do the rest of this in time lapse, so here we go. That actually worked really good. And uh, once I figured out you don't have to shut the machine off, just back off on the feet before you step over, it went pretty fast. All right, let me clean this up. We'll have a closer look. Back to using my phone here, guys. Uh, it's much better for close-ups. But yeah, that worked really good. It did raise burrs along the edges of the cut, so if if this was a piece we were making for you know, real vice jaws, we would uh, probably just take another, uh, either lap it or, or put it in the mill and take a, you know, a face skim cut to clean it up. Um, and of course, if, if we were really making vice jaws, we'd have this turned at a 45 degree angle. We'd have to change our vice to do that. But uh, yeah, I think we've got the capability if we need to do it. Oh, well, that was fun.